question. My name is Kendra Nielsen Miles. I started EDS Wellness five years ago to meet a need within the community. After I was diagnosed with EDS about 10 years ago, after the birth of my first son, I recognized that there was a lot of information that the patients needed that wasn't getting out there. There was such a huge disparity of, of, of information, like some people would know certain things and other patients wouldn't know, uh, they would hear something else. And yeah. everybody was waiting two years to get into these health professionals. I waited myself, I couldn't necessarily find somebody to see. But even within some of the specialists, there was different information. There was just a huge need for information and it needed to get out there. And it wasn't just about awareness, it was about services and what people could do to help themselves if they couldn't necessarily get into one of the EDS specialists right away or they didn't have anybody to go to or maybe they couldn't even travel. What I found was that people needed not only information, you know, disseminated, but there needed to be programs actually reaching people. They needed to learn not only, they needed to know how to do things. So it wasn't just here, do this, but it was, let me show you how to do it. Um, and when, especially when you're talking about somebody that's really deconditioned or they've really just not had good information, they don't have somebody that can help them, they really don't know what to do. And it's one thing to tell them, but it's another thing to show them. So we started uh, hypermobility, moving naturally with hypermobility seminars to show people that there's ways that you can even move while you're in bed. Um, there's natural movement patterns, you can just move better during the day that will help strengthen your body before you really try to go take that exercise class. There's always something that you can do and something is better than nothing. Um, we also started Wellapalooza conferences, which really brings together the best of Western medicine with integrative therapies. And it's not solely focused on EDS, it's focused on all hypermobility syndromes and how they relate to all these other different chronic illnesses. And then how do you bring that all together? Because you're in one body, you're not sectioned by different chronic illnesses. So you wanna bring it all together and look at these different therapies and think about what works for you and hear about them and also try them. So we wanna bring people to these conferences, uh, make it a positive environment, bring integrative therapies to them, bring them the best speakers, and then have them really put it all together so that they can really leave with such a really great foundation to, for wellness and what they can do on their own. ES Wellness focuses on publishing of digital and print media resources. And we do that in collaboration with healthcare professionals, EDS specialists, and patients or other organizations, but the whole point is to actually put digital and print media resources out there that include integrative wellness therapies. It's not just information about what EDS is, it's about what can people do. So we've put together a natural healing brochure for EDS. Um, we're currently working, working on more uh, podcasts and seminars, like the hypermobility seminar, trying to put them online, training courses for teachers, um, counselors, anybody really. Um, and we also have uh, affiliates that we work with that also provide books and other educational materials that have been written by different people within the community uh, on different topics related to EDS. It, it could be anything from medical stuff or for patient stories. We put that all together and it could be in an ebook, uh, a parent handbook. It could be a compilation of stories. It could be one of the providers wrote something. And all these resources are available online. We have the resources for EDS Wellness and what we do in our programs, and then we also have the ones that are associated with our affiliates, and they're also online. Um, Just Five Minutes was something that I started in my own head. It was a trick. I have dealt with chronic fatigue my whole life, and I've always remained active, but it's not easy, and a lot of times I don't want to do it. I really don't want to do it. And so I started playing this trick in my head where I would say, okay, just move for five minutes, just move for five minutes even if it's just your leg or your arm, just move. And if you don't want to keep going after five minutes, then stop. But it was just something to keep me moving. Half the battle is just starting and it's really, really hard. And sometimes you don't want to do a lot. You can't do a lot. You really can't even get off the floor. It was just some way for me to do something. And I've, and it always worked with exercise. I ended up doing way more than five minutes. I mean, sometimes it's just 15, but it's still more. Um, sometimes it's just laying on the floor and doing something. Sometimes it's in my bed. Um, sometimes it helps me get through cleaning the house or starting work. So it started doing more. It was helping me in more ways and working with people within the community, people be like, how do you stay so active? How do you do all this? It must be easier for you, it must be stronger. And the truth is I'm not, I just never stopped. And I'm not perfect and I've had my ups and downs, but I, it's a game in my head and it's a choice and it's also a game. And um, so I started teaching people. I said, you know how I do it? It's because I made up this rule. I gotta keep going somehow and I don't wanna do it any more than anybody else and I am petrified of the spiral. I call it the EDS spiral. And I've been there, um, thankfully not super far, but I've been there scary enough where I, you know, dislocating different things. My whole system is totally out of whack and I've built myself back up 
several times from three pregnancies, spirals, and it's a choice and it's, and it's hard. And sometimes all you can do is just lay in bed and do arm soap curls. Sometimes all you can do is just practice getting up and down. Sometimes it's just a matter of taking a few more steps every day. And then sometimes when you're even really conditioned and you're, you're on it, you're on fire, you're like, you're on it. There are gonna be days where you're just flattened and doing something is still better than nothing because the body tends to spiral pretty fast for us um, as far as deconditioning and, and just keeping going is very important. And so I started sharing just five minutes with everybody and or the people that would question, how do you stay so active? How do you keep going? And people like it, they get it. I don't think there's threatened by it. I think a lot of people thought that because I worked out so much that I figured everybody else should be doing that. And that's not the case. I've been doing it since I was 11. And it, it's not easy to start. It's definitely not easy to keep a habit. It's, it's definitely easy to lose a habit and it's really hard to start one. And I just started sharing with them the just five minutes and a lot of people like it because it's really not about, it's not about going to yoga every day. It's not about being able to do something every day. It's just about doing something and starting somewhere. For wherever level you are, it's, it's starting there. And just five minutes applies to anybody. Yeah, that's good. You're right. Okay. And, and that's awesome. We'll keep that. Anything else? We'll and start. movement. Move. <laughs> Eat well. You're not going to feel good. You better get up and move. <laughs>